And you may say to yourself, Brad, you look pretty tired, a little disheveled, not necessarily your normal sort of way. And I would say, yes, I, I really am. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, why, Brad? Why are you so tired and disheveled? Well, I will tell you, but before I do, I will say thank you. A sincere, heartfelt thank you to all of the viewers and subscribers and those who pass the videos around. Honestly, guys, it really does help us out. And when there are down times, and there are down times for everybody, it does give you that little pick me up when you see, you know, the nice comment or the, the thumbs up. And so I wanted to say thank you. Going back, now why is Brad all tired and disheveled? Well, it's really, really hot outside and we have been working on a problem in our yard for quite a while. The dishevelment. The dishevelment, but that's not why we chose to be dishevelized or to anti-dishevelize today. And the reason why we're anti dishevelizing today is that it's time for my son David to transition from here in the home, out into the world. Yeah, he uh, he's basically going on a, a church missions trip coming up really soon. And then after that, he's actually going to be going down to Haiti for just over a month to help build, you know, churches and schools and homes for people. And uh, when he does that, when we when he comes back, uh, we've all felt like it's time for him to start considering transitioning into manhood in terms of a living arrangement. And so we figured that this is a good bridge to get him from point A to point B with the least amount of shock. So what we decided to do was, if you guys remember back almost a year, I have this shed out back and I'm gonna show you this shed uh, that I transformed into an office and we had air conditioning and lights and the whole nine yards. It was great out there, except that I felt really disconnected from the family because, I mean, you're working. You're working eight hours a day. It's not like you're just sleeping where it would be his situation. So uh, let me show you what we're doing. But bottom line is we have to get rid of a ton of junk to transform this shed into a usable, livable space with AC and electric and all that kind of stuff. So we've been spending the morning getting all the junk out of there, cleaning this place out, getting it ready, putting some beds together, you know, um, swapping some things out, and uh, we're hopeful that we'll get most of the work done actually before David comes home from work because we want it to be a surprise. We've talked about this and everybody's excited about it. it we, we feel like it's gonna be a good transition. That way he gets a little bit more space. He gets a little bit more uh, me time kind of thing. And, and he also gets, I mean, we've been helping him along with you know things like checkbook and how to balance your money and how to budget your money and doing all those things. And he's been doing good, but we feel like this is the next step. He feels it like it's the next step. And so, yeah, transitioning, sweaty Brad, sweaty folks, but it's time. Yeah, our son David is heading out to Haiti. And then shortly after that, he's gonna be out on his own. So we're transitioning him from his room inside to something a little more bachelory. We're cleaning this area out. We've got AC for him. We've got, well, everything. And he's going to start living on his own more like a grown up adult. I'm sure he'll make this his crazy bachelor pad, but soon enough, it will be a tiny house extraordinaire. David's going to hate it. Woohoo! It is amazing how much junk that you just gather up, don't even realize you have it, pile up, don't use it. All this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff was just what was in the, the center of the room here. Just the center of the room. I basically went upstairs and repacked everything. And oh boy, it's nice and hot up there. Ran the uh, AC lines. We have this portable AC unit. Kicking out 61 degrees, oh yeah. It's gonna be like an ice cube. And uh, well, there's his messy bed. Shelving, time to transition on, brother. Ramble on, David.
ramble on. So he really does need to transition out of this little kid's room into his Messy. own space where he can just be chill David. And be David. Uh, this way, it'll give him a good s transition out to, you know, yeah, mission trip, and then Haiti, and then out into his own place. Yeah, he's gonna get his own place, and but this is like a three-month process, and well, there's a lot that's got to change, starting with that mess. Dun dun dun. Now our prayer is that this thing goes smooth, that um, he click, click, clicks with all the all the adult stuff, the budgeting, the checkbook, making sure that you're not buying too many Mountain Dew Code Reds, that you're actually keeping things in balance. But the door's always open, you know, here for him. Uh, but we feel like this is gonna be a great way for him to experience, you know, for about a month or so, what it's like to at least come and go as you please and you don't have to answer to anybody. And there'll be kind of a safety net there too because well, he'll probably be eating dinner with us, and, and as mom and dad, you gotta know, we're not ready for that whole thing to come apart just yet, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take David's spot for sleeping. You're gonna get in trouble if you think that, dude. He will not be happy with you. No, sir. I'm pretty sure Jonathan's gonna beg to live out there with him. You think so? Yeah. Sad. So anyway, just showing you guys what's going on, um, please pray for us. We're, um, we're uh, new to this. I mean, this is our first, uh, our eldest child heading out and all the stuff that goes along with it. So I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day.